did OnePlus made a real flagship this time? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the MW Tech Channel. So, OnePlus did it. They made a phone which is worth calling a flagship. So, in their launch event, they released two phones, the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. So, which cost $899 and $699. So, let's get to the higher end 8 Pro. So, it comes with quad camera setup which has the highest specs at, as we usually get in a smartphone which releases in 2020. So, which are the Snapdragon 865 and the 4510 mAh battery. I don't know why, like something like that. And an 8 or 12 gigs of RAM. And also, they have a similar look as the older one, as the older generation OnePlus 7 Pro. So, this time it comes in three colors, which is Ultramarine blue. Uh, I can't spell that thing correctly. So, uh, inconvenience it's a black one. Then, Glacier green. Okay, wait, hold on. So, OnePlus has some issues with some areas which directly affected them. So, one is the camera, which they didn't quite match with the higher end spec sheets. And also, they just uh, get rid of some uh, things which are not very important, but yeah, which are. Should which should have been in a flagship level phone. So surprisingly, they need all of them: a flagship level camera, wireless charging, IP68 water and dust resistance. Great work, OnePlus. Okay, so the new display, which is a 6.8 inch diagonal and 1440p, 120 hertz AMOLED display, which is a really really good display. I mean, like for a flagship yeah that's what you should do like the previous one and the refresh rate yeah it's a variable refresh rate so it's not locked in 20, 120 Hertz when you are like in the home screen no you are just keeping the phone without using it and it has an optical fingerprint scanner which is the same optical fingerprint scan as the last generation and also the curved display yeah which is not uh, a very important thing right now, it's not something which is very important. Uh, so Samsung did it a very long time. So when the Samsung when Samsung implemented it, it was a pretty good thing. But now, yeah, it is uh, not a smart move to do such a huge curve. So the whole punch cut out, which is in the left corner. Uh, yeah, but it's not great, isn't it? It's uh, like the pop-up camera was better, not great but better than the whole punch yeah i mean i get it like moving parts are not durable but for the previous two years or two or more years yeah we didn't have an issue of the durability problems so that's been a downgrade because that camera was amazing the same thing is not here with the whole punch cutout so with the wireless charging they claim 30 watt fast wireless charge but with their own oneplus charging dock or if you have another wireless charging it just goes in 5 watt normal very slow uh not fast just slow really slow fast not fast it's just slow charging so uh that's if might be a problem for someone so it's you just uh take the cable and plug that in so it is it will be charged in uh, several minutes so that will be good if you have a choice so what about the cameras so it has a 48 megapixel ultra wide f 2.2 aperture camera and an 8 megapixel telephoto f 2.24 camera and a 48 megapixel main camera which has an f 1.7 and a 5 megapixel color filter yeah this is a new stuff so this is a good phone i mean for 899 at the flagship level spec sheets everything is good here uh yeah so pretty much 
that's it so they have done it nice work oneplus great job again i have to say this that's pretty much it uh they made a flagship for our phone so that's been it thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when i put a video at instance and if you like this hit the thumbs up and if you don't you know what to do thanks for watching again catch you guys in the next one have a nice day